This is Gilbert Gottfried. I'm here with my co-host, Frank Santo Padre, and we're once again being recorded at Nutmeg with our engineer, Frank Fertorosa. And this is Gilbert and Frank's amazing, colossal obsession. It is. And I'm out of birthday tributes, so there's no one we can malign oh. this week. <laughs> well, we or, can still or slander that anti-Semitic... Uh, Paul Lynn, it's... <laughs> who, who the, his homosexual playmate could have called an ambulance, but he let him die. Unproven. Yeah. <laughs> Dispro- uh, not disproven, but unproven. Uh, I thought this week we would do some uh, some tweets because we haven't talked No, to our... disproven. <laughs> we have not. It's not unproven. I'm telling you, disproven. Is that you doing, uh, you doing, uh, what's his name, uh, Skippy Rogers? What was his name? What was that guy? Oh, Amos and Andy. No, no, who was the guy that used to do, uh, that you did last week? The oh. guy that said, oh, yeah. Oh, that's uh, Timmy Rogers. Timmy Rogers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, these are, we haven't done a, a, a mail. Uh, I, I always say viewer mail. We don't have viewers. We have yes. listeners. And we haven't talked to uh, our fans on social media in a while on this show. So here's here are some questions. Uh, Charlie Wilson, uh, any chance of getting Ed Wood alum Conrad Brooks? I saw that. On the podcast. I, I saw, I got, yeah, yeah, I saw that tweet. Yeah, that Con- would be. Conrad Brooks. You remember Conrad Brooks? Yeah. The guy that played Kelton the Cop died, Paul Marco. Oh. In Plan 9 from Outer Space. Uh, I guess Conrad Brooks is still around. Yeah, that might be a really good one. Should we chat? Should we? Oh, sure. Should we look into him? God knows. Uh, here's a guy, uh, uh, Reed Hawkins. Tweets to say, uh, hey, guys, I saw a movie on TCM with Lon Chaney Jr., Hillbillies in a Haunted House. Yeah, i Can you comment? Worst it. movie ever? I've heard of it, and I don't think I've seen it. I think it would be too sad even for me. Really? Yeah. You don't know every Lon Chaney Jr. movie? Yeah, I know most of them. I know I know of it, but I don't know if I ever— It might be one of those things I saw when I was— Three uh-huh. when they would show every single movie on TV. Okay, here's a, a gentleman named uh, his, his uh, Twitter handle is Immortality Project. <clears throat> I guess that's his. I don't know if this his uh, his project is business. Uh, he's quoting the Bogdanovich episode we did. My name is Jack Ford and I make westerns. Yes, and he writes Goosebumps. That that was a great moment. We got a lot of nice uh, tweets and a lot of nice uh, Facebook posts about the Bogdanovich episode. Yeah. It it always surprises me people's reactions. Yeah, especially P- uh, Bill Schaefer writing. Uh, Gilbert was on his best behavior with Peter Bogdanovich. <laughs> People expect the worst from you. <laughs> uh, Dean Norton. Norton. Yeah. Uh, you guys need to do a small show on Henry Mancini and the movies he scored, like Hatari. Oh, yeah, Henry Mancini. We should do a Henry Mancini episode. Henry Mancini also did these early horror and science fiction films. I don't think I knew that. Yeah. Like he, what? He, I don't know if he did- When he was uh, first starting. Yeah, I don't know if he did Creature of the Black Lagoon, but he did a bunch of these low-budget horror and science fiction films. Wow. Yeah. This I did not know about and, Henry Mancini. Oh, and I met Henry Mancini. I don't know. I was doing some special at, um, oh, what's his name? Phil Collins uh-huh. was doing a special. Gilbert Gottfried I, was on a Phil Collins special? So I, uh, yeah, I was on it with, um, what's her name, former Miss America. Uh, Betty Furness? No. <laughs> <laughs> the... The, Vanessa the, Williams. Oh, yes. Did you sing yes. Invisible Touch? <laughs> you were on this Phil Collins special. And, and, and Henry Mancini stopped by the set. Oh, Paul Rayburn is here, our researcher. Mancini, what do you Mancini. got, brother? 
joined Universal Studios in 1952. Go right into the mic, my friend. Yeah. Did you say Creature from the Black Yes, Bridge? yes. Right. I was right! Wow! Also, the Creature Walks Among Us. It came from outer space. Say it into the mic, Paul. Where, which one right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, so we got Creature from the Black Well, Bridge. say say Gilbert. again. Tell him again how I was right. Gilbert said, Henry Mancini. <laughs> how am I doing? Yeah, very good. The score for Creature from the Black Lagoon, and Gilbert was right. This yeah. is yes. proven. This yeah. is yes. proven. The creature walks among us. It came from outer space. Tarantula, this island Earth, and the Glenn Miller story. What's well, that? Well, that's a horror <laughs> film in, that in that its own right. That was very scary. One of those Steve it Allen. Was, <laughs> I was on the edge of my seat. No, not Steve Allen. Orson that one was uh, touch of evil. Jimmy Stewart. Wow. And many, many, many more. I, I didn't know he scored. Uh, Baby Elephant Walk. That's in Pink and Pink Panther. Pink Panther. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know he scored all those horror films. That's yeah. cool stuff. Yeah, that is cool stuff. Speaking of the creature from the gla- the thank you, Paul, <laughs> for that welcome. for that interlude. Speaking of creature from the Black Lagoon, oh, Rico Browning is still alive. Oh, the Gill Man. Well, I, oh my God. Should we call him? Yes. Get him in here now. Now, thank um, you, Paul. Who I oh I oh Blake oh Blake Edwards yeah. Uh, here's an old joke. What did Blake Edwards say when he found out that his aunt just died? <laughs> dead aunt, dead aunt, <laughs> dead aunt, dead aunt, dead aunt, dead aunt, dead aunt. That's a joke that should yeah. stay old. Yeah. Wow. Shaw. Sure. <laughs> Where did you pick up? Where did you pick up these things? Sean Tomes or Thomes. I think it's Tomes, like the River Thames. Uh, could you guys talk about Under the Rainbow, the Chevy Chase Carrie Fisher oh, comedy? Oh, we were talking about that with Chevy we, we Chase. We loved it as a kid. We did talk to Chevy yeah, about that. Yeah, and he was talking. They were drunken, farting right. dwarves. And you you, and you shared the the, uh, the, ur- the famous Hollywood urban myth about the shadow of the, uh, yes. of the hanged munchkin. It's believed yeah. that in one scene in Wizard of Oz, a munchkin hung himself. And you could see his body hanging from the tree. <laughs> yeah, remember Chevy? And, we and broke I him guess up. the cameraman missed it because they're so small. So, <laughs> it also yeah. never happened. <laughs> Codename Gary Seven. That's a good Twitter handle. Uh, he writes to us a lot. Oh, this is too good. Lon Chaney Jr., John Carradine, Belly, Bella Lugosi, Bela Lugosi, and Tor Johnson. Is that the black? The, the black, black sleep. The black sleep. He he recorded it off of his television. And I think Apkin Tamaroff uh, is in it. Akeem Tamaroff. Akeem yeah. Tamaroff. Yeah, that. The black sleep. It was a movie. It was fun. Not as much fun as it should have been. Right. Yeah, there were a lot of slow parts. There's some. Uh, Drew sent me. Drew Friedman sent me some some photographs. There were some great photos of them having lunch in the commissary. That was more entertaining than the movie. All of they them. would. I in fact, I heard people were complaining. They would come in with their scary makeup on, and these people were losing their appetite. Really? Yeah. There's a yeah. I you, I urge people to go on uh, on yeah. uh, Google it. Black, there's de- there's black, one where black like Tor Johnson's head is sticking through the table, yeah. and Lugosi, Carradine, and Cheney all have knives and forks. Yeah, it's like weird. About, it's, but they're, but it's like it's some they're candid shots where they're just reading menus. Oh they're my ordering, god! It's yes. odd. Our friend Mark Talley, uh, he's a big fan of the show. Uh, I just got through listening to Gilbert sing "Tie a Yellow Ribbon" with Tony <laughs> Orlando. <laughs> Very sorry, I was in on that one too, and I can't stop laughing. Thank you for that. We appreciate that, uh, Mark. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is a nice compliment from Timothy Roach. With 100 great episodes, the Bogdanovich episode tops them all. Yeah. So and, many great stories. And Yeah, that was that one where Cecil, D. De, Cecil B. DeMille uh-huh. wanted to get rid of, I think, Joseph Mangovich. Well, he wanted him to sign a loyalty A oath. loyalty, and yeah. he was ready to f- get rid of him. And and that's when John Ford spoke up. Interest, and it, what makes that story extra interesting is that Ford's politics were very much Such to, the, total to the right. Such pro-conservative. And he, yeah, he said, I'm John Ford. I make Jack wish. Ford. I'm Jack yeah. Ford. Yeah. Jack Ford. That's yeah. what made it so great. Yeah. He said, I'm Jack Ford and I make Westerns. And I don't like you, C. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't like what you said here. Yeah. Today. Yeah. I think Robert Wool told us the same story. Yeah. On the podcast. And I had heard that story before. It's a good no, one worth it's... repeating. Big Daddy. And he's got a great Rankin Bass. Uh, uh, image. What do you call that? Twitter. Uh, it's got a. Uh, there's a name for that thing that's escaping me. 
Uh, did I hear Stuart Margolin will be on the show? Yes. You, yes, you did. He's yeah, he agreed. I can't wait for Stuart We're Margo. looking forward to him. He was on our, our, our short list early in the game. Uh, you need to ask him about the Monkees and Kelly's Heroes. Oh. Which with uh, Kelly's Heroes with uh, Clint Eastwood and I believe Don Rickles. Yes. And I want to ask him basically about Death Wish because he's the Western guy who gives Charles Bronson a gun as a gift. Right. Right, right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I want to ask him about Love American style. Oh, he, yeah, he, I remember I was on a radio show and the host of the radio show said, hey, remember there used to be that actor, he was always good at leering. And I said, Stuart Margolin? <laughs> it could have been and, Frank Nelson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's you again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jeffrey, we're looking forward to Stuart uh, next week. Jeffrey Grant writes, "Rest in peace, Janet Waldo, the voice of Judy Jetson." Oh, she passed away. She was also the voice of uh, Josie of Josie and the Pussycats. Wow, she did a lot of voiceovers. Yeah. Um, here, Rob Dunn writes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. let's, uh, let's see. Uh, I blame this purchase on you. And he took a picture of the swimmer and of mice and men. Yes. So there you go. I rec- I I picked both of those movies to discuss with Robert Osborne on Turner Classic Movies. That's right. And we so- presented the swimmer, the original Cheney, Burgess Meredith of Mice and Men. Right. And Freaks and the Conversation. All good choices. Yeah. Yeah. Those were that was fun to I do. I get a lot of these things. People blaming us for, <laughs> for like so somebody will take a picture of Skidoo and say, You owe me yes. you owe me ten dollars. <laughs> I like this tweet from Artemis Fowl. But dot dot dot. I liked Yellowbeard. We're sorry to hear that. Yellowbeard was uh, Bluebeard. Uh, he was turned on by people pissing on his face. <laughs> so they made a movie called Yellowbeard. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. geez, I learned so much on this show, too. In fact, I think Yellowbeard <laughs> ran out when Paul Lynn was having a heart attack. I'll just keep going. <laughs> Someone called The Color of Spring. I love these Twitter handles. Uh, you guys, uh, one of my comfort movies, they're still doing comfort movies, God bless them, yeah. The Story of Mankind. Oh, my An all-star God, flop, yes. and yes, Chico needed the money. For sure on that one. <laughs> we should maybe devote an episode to The Story of Mankind. Yes, and they it's had wretched. all three Marx Brothers separately. Yeah. That was like well. Harpo was Isaac Newton. Yeah, and I think Groucho was was uh, oh, that, Peter Minuit, who who who, who with Pocahontas. Somebody, uh, no. I can't. So one of them yeah. was Peter Minuit, who bought. Yeah, I who, think one of Manhattan Groucho's current wives at the time. You know, this wife who was like eighteen. It'd be Melinda's Groucho. mother. Yeah. Yeah. And she was there as the Indian princess. Oh, it was Melinda's best friend, the one he married the oh, one he married yes, and she was yes. and it was and it was weird and creepy. Did you see this? I will retweet it. Did you see Russell's bat signal with the uh, with the orange? Oh with, yes. With the orange right. <laughs> R- Russell, uh, wonderful job. I'll I'll retweet it. It's great. He did, he made a bat signal out of an orange rind. Uh winding this one down. Um, a lot of people corrected us. It was Bluebeard, not Blackbeard, the Richard Burton <laughs> Strangler movie. We can always count. We can always count on corrections. Kelly, uh, excuse me, Keddy, Keddy O'Galati, Keddy O'Galati. That's quite a name. Uh, all star, all star cast flops. How about Caligula? Oh my yes, that was just uh, depressing. Uh, uh, Malcolm from, McDowell. Yeah, Malcolm McDowell. Yeah. Um. And um, and also uh, John Gilgood. Oh yeah, and it was a bunch of people. It was Bob Guccione, the penthouse oh, oh, uh, publisher. Yeah. yeah, apparently lured all of these respected British actors. Um, I think who else is it? Helen Mirren's in it. Oh, and Peter O'Toole. I can and, honestly say I worked with uh, Malcolm McDowell on SNL. Yeah, so we got to get him. As terrible as any of the other shows, we got to get him. Um, do, do, do the, I like this one. Uh, Timothy, uh, Trinity Vidori, Trinity Vidori, you fool. <laughs> it saddens me that Gilbert doesn't have Seinfeld and Larry David money. 
<laughs> how does that? How, yeah, how does he it, know you don't? Yeah, I it, it you don't know how much it saddens me. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm thankful because then you wouldn't have interviewed Peter Marshall. Oh <laughs> so well, I, that's a strange I, one. I but... like Peter Marshall, <laughs> but he's not worth giving up Seinfeld, Larry <laughs> David money. Right, right. Here's the last one we'll do, unless you don't uh, have a response to this one. Johnny Pomato. I just watched the bizarre screwball Simone Simone comedy. Or si- yeah. how did she say her name? She one that was in I Cat know. People. Oh uh, yes, Simone. yeah. I think Simone Simone. Johnny doesn't live here anymore, and then he writes Rondo Hatton alert. Oh, wow. So there's a Rondo Hatton uh, movie. Well, any movie with Rondo Hatton's worth it. Uh, Got to look that one up. I will end on this one. I lied. Roger Rains. Hey, uh, All-Star Flops, how about Holy Moses? Oh, my God. Which we asked Lorraine Newman about. Yes. That's the one with her and... Was Dudley Moore? Dudley Moore was... Uh, yeah. 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 He was the lead. Oh, yeah. And I think... I want to say people. I want to say Marty Feldman Ooh. is in that one, who was he also in Yellowbeard. Be. Let's let's get someone to look this up. Hey, Paulie. Paul. Hey, Pauluch. Hey, Paulie. <laughs> <laughs> look up. What do you got? Look up Holy Moses. What do you got on Holy Moses? Holy but it's spelled Moses. holy with an a, a W. Lorraine Newman, Dudley Moore. Yeah. yeah, I want to <laughs> say I want to say Peter Boyle, but I think that's Yellowbeard. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Holy Moses. Yeah, the Marty band. Feldman, right? Wait a minute, this is the band. No, not the, the German, band. The German thrash metal band. No, we don't no. want that. <laughs> okay. We don't want the thrash metal band. And speaking of the mic, my lad. But. If you could sing 99 Luft Balloons. <laughs> 99 <Alfred>. what? <laughs> Luft Balloons. Luft Balloons. Holy yeah. Moses, not the German thrash metal band. Nope. But Who was in it? On IMDb. IMDb. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Who was yeah. in cast? Top build cast. Dudley, Dudley Moore. Moore. Lorraine Newman. Yeah, that was her big role. James Coco. Oh, James ah! Coco. I always loved him. Oh, we got to rise on that one. Love him. Paul Sand. Oh, okay. Paul Sand we got to get. Those are the top guys. Now, the, the, the smaller players, there are no small players. Jack Guilford, Dom DeLuise. Wow. John Houseman, Madeline Kahn, David Lander, and Richard Pryor. It goes on and on. Well, oh, yeah, Richard Pryor. John Ritter. Yeah. Old Star Stinker. That's and another good That's a good old one. Old Star Stinker. And it's holy. It's W H O L L Y. Yes, directed Moses. by, I believe, Gary Weiss, who took Gary over. Gary Weiss. Yeah, who took Gary over the Weiss. short film duties on, from Albert Brooks on the original Gary SNL. Thomas. Do we know him? No. Gary Thomas. No. Okay. That's it. No. A lot of stars. That's it. Wow. And uh, and and one more one more a guy tweeted you about Doctor Butcher, M.D. Oh yes. Did you see that one? Living yes. deliciously. Yeah, that was one of those where I kept saying. It was, you know, an Italian production. Oh, look up that those names for Doctor Dr. Butcher, Butcher MD. MD. Doctor, <laughs> because it's on the film. He calls himself like John Martin. What do you got, Paulie? So, yeah, Let's see here. And jump like on, the jump director, on, jump on Gil's John Mike. Martin. This was that show we that movie we reviewed where you were basically slurring my people. Yes, with good reason. <laughs> Just see Dr. Butcher. The one you saw in the I defunct said movie theater? it was theater? a guinea horror film. <laughs> That's a subgenre. Yeah. Dr. Butcher. Go, go to Gil's mic. Uh, Dr. Butcher, who am I looking at? Is he the character? Dr. Or Butcher, is that medical the the deviant. Because I searched Dr. Butcher, MD film, and I got Zombie Holocaust. From that's the same. I think that that's it? the same one. Is that it? 1980. Yeah. Okay. Now, now see. find the director's name. Director. Who is the director? Cast. Wait a minute. I don't have the director right away. Do you have the? Do you need the cast? No, no. no the, the director. 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 Just director. Zombie oh wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Zombie he Directed just want- by Marino Girolami. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Huh? That sounds am, am I yeah. wrong about these guineas? <laughs> <laughs> also, Zombie Holocaust, also known as Zombie 3 and Dr. Butcher MD. Yes. yes. Gilbert was right again. Yeah. Yes. He's always right. Yeah. We're changing the name of the show to Gilbert is Gilbert's always right. always right. You want to rap? Sure. 
I usually end the show with a rap. A little Grandmaster yeah. Flash. <laughs> About yellow beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, you know, guys. I think Keep Paul the tweets Lynn coming. was paying for a yellow beard when uh, he had the heart attack. Now cut that The out. guy was peeing on his... Paul Lynn would go a month <laughs> without shaving, and he would oh, no. hire a boy to piss on his oh, face. Oh, no. It was a yellow beard. I need to work on my Jack Benny. And anyway, <laughs> this has been Gilbert yeah. and Frank's amazing colossal obsession. Thank you, guys. Keep the tweets and the posts coming. We love you. Listen up, man. Just like